Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very interesting video for you. Now in this video I will talk about a very good software simple but powerful. And with this software you can easily remotely control your PCs whatever in the office or in home. So in this video I will talk about the software any viewer. Yes, any viewer is a simple but powerful software and it is available in Windows and also in Android devices. So in this video I will demonstrate that how you can control your PCs remotely. That means wherever your PC is and you are in uh, whatever place so you can basically control your PC. And of course you can give service to your clients or friends and you can actually troubleshoot some uh, different problems re relating to uh, the softwares uh, of the PC. So definitely uh, this video will be helpful for you. Now this any viewer software this is actually new in the market but it is very impressive because of its simplicity. It is very simple to use and but it is very powerful and very well controlled and also some shortcut commands are also there. So. Uh, just wait for a minute and I will demonstrate all the things and also any viewer is free for personal use you can use uh, personally uh, completely free okay no charges are there so before starting the video you have to just do one thing hit the like button subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon and also you can check my other videos lot of other interesting videos are there uh, in my channel so you must check that okay so without further delay let's jump into our main topic today Okay, now first of all, I will show you guys that from where you can download any viewer. So just type any viewer in Google or whatever search engine, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, uh, whatever you want. And you can see this is the www.anyviewer.com and go there. And you can see this is the uh, home page of the any viewer software. So remote desktop software for Windows. You can see and also it is available for ios and android now right so for windows you can download freeware so just click download here and you can see here the size is 38.39 mb and this is the version number and you can you can see the change log of this version and so you can just click here and you can see it is start downloading okay I have al already downloaded the app so I don't need to download again and also for the iOS devices you can see this is for the iOS devices so you can download 40 MB of this uh, file and also for the Android devices you can uh, download from here or you can download from the Google Play Store. Now to install any viewer you can see this is my uh, any viewer installer just double click here and just click yes and you can see uh, this is very simple setup this is the default path okay and I accept the agreement and you just install so when you click here then it will be installed so very very simple installation very simple now after installing just double click the shortcut icon to start any viewer and it is starting you can see and in the first look you can see this is the interface and here uh, you will see a device ID and a temporary security code. These can be used to remotely control this desktop. First of all just go to the settings and customize the settings. Okay so starting with the bottom basic. Now you can start any viewer with the starting of the windows and prevent this device from automatically sleeping. These two default settings are very important in order to access your system all the time. If you doesn't need uh, these things and you want to start them start manually so you can turn off these settings and this is the device name you can edit from here and this is the language. Coming to the security now you can see uh, you can lock the uh, system in uh, 10 minutes and also you can lock any viewer when the local computer is locked. In the controller you can see the image quality now you can see uh, this is the balance uh, and default and this is the high speed connection that means the quality will be low but speed will be high and this is the high quality image so very high quality HTML image uh, you can see and you can see uh, you can hide the desktop wallpaper 
so basically uh, this will hide the uh, wallpaper and only you uh, are getting the windows of some applications okay and uh, and save the security code you can save the security code too and it is the recipient so allow uh, to accept a remote control okay so i am allowing uh, to remote control uh, my pc and allow temporary security code okay so every time i uh, open up the uh, software so a new security code will appear because you can see from these settings also you can set manually the security code right and in the unattended you can see one click connect to assigned devices now when you log in uh, in the software so you uh, can uh, assign some devices that means uh, whatever devices you are uh, logging in uh, that will be the assign devices and assign devices uh, doesn't need any uh, security code or device id you can connect directly and also you can set a, a permanent security code okay and if it is off so temporary security code will be generated so these are the settings now let's see how to control other devices remotely so for that i am going to the connect tab and here in the uh, start control i have to enter the device id so i have entered it and uh, this is the remote control and file transfer so just uh, click remote control and hit connect and uh, now either uh, i can uh, send a request for to you to your partner or input security code okay so security code of uh, that computer i have to type here so i'm just typing okay so i have entered the security code now click ok and now it will connect to that computer and you can see it is connected so you can see here uh, this is uh, the windows 10 uh, pc and you can maximize the screen now it looks a little bit of hazy okay do, uh, because i am using the uh, free version okay uh, but in the pro version you will uh, get a uh, full hd screen uh, that is higher quality but a uh, control will be uh, good and you can see this is the start menu okay so remotely i can access everything i can do everything now when you uh, you you see here now it is now this is the adopt adaptive you can see this is very much uh, clear and uh, this is the original and now screen you can you can uh, change the screen resolution now mode okay you can see uh, this is the high quality for uh, pro version and this is the balance quality and you can also chat okay so you can chat from here okay from one laptop to that uh, laptop okay so you you can the chat service is available this is very helpful uh, to troubleshooting uh, something okay and uh, and there uh, from there uh, you can uh, get the reply okay you can see so that's very much uh, good thing and this is uh, the operation now these uh, shortcuts are very much uh, uh, useful so you can uh, press control uh, control alt or delete okay uh, to see log out and shutdown options you can lock the screen from here and also you can log out you can restart the pc you can shut down or you can directly go to this pc or task manager i can open up the task manager from direct command okay now you can see this is the task manager right and any viewer uh, actually uh, takes a very low memory 7.4 mb you can see and here a uh, 56 mb you can see so any viewer is running so directly uh, these direct operations are very much useful so you can also lock the the screen that means lock the computer you can see now the system is locked and also i can log in by typing the security code so that's very much useful and also you can start the uh, command line from here you can see this is the uh, command prompt and also you can uh, disable the mouse and keyboard uh, of the recipient temporarily and you can black the screen of the recipient and you can lock the device when disconnected so all these uh, uh, the shortcut uh, commands you can execute from here now in order to use the file transfer and assigned devices functionality you need to sign up for an account and login 
so you can sign up uh, here so you just click here and type the name your email address then send uh, the click the send button and a verification code will be sent to your email then enter the verification code here enter your password and just sign up and after signing up you have to just log in now i have entered my email and uh, my password and uh, you uh, the auto login is uh, checked by default and you just log in now you can see i am using the pro version and uh, you can actually assign 10 devices maximum with this pro version and 100 managed devices now to get your device list you just go to device tab and here you can see all your assigned devices that means in which devices you have logged in you can re remotely control any of the assigned devices with just one click no uh, device id and confirmation uh, is required now it's very easy to control your devices remotely uh, by the mobile phone also thanks to the mobile version of the any viewer now you can install the mobile version in ios or android devices okay i have tested it and it is working fine and you can see uh, these are some features of the uh, mobile version of this software so you can see the unattended access and uh, you can manage control devices virtual mouse is available flexible control mode so some uh, shortcut commands are there and you can also rotate the screen hide desktop wallpapers show desktop and the power management that is the lock restart or shut down your remote pc so all these things you can do with very simplicity although the any viewer doesn't have any uh, linux support that means uh, linux version is not available but i have also installed uh, this software in my pop os operating system and installation was fine okay actually i installed uh, the any viewer with the wine you know that wine is a great compatibility uh, layer of the windows in linux systems okay so i installed through wine uh, this uh, any viewer software and the core component is not working but the client component uh, was working that means you can control other devices through linux device but you can't control the linux device from other devices so that's the thing so uh, you can so partly uh, it is working in linux system through wine any viewer is completely free for the personal use but if you want to use it professionally and with the uh, in the enterprise level so you can check the prices here okay so some yearly these are some yearly plans and these are some monthly plans okay and also you can see uh, this is a 15 day uh, money back guarantee and also you can compare the free edition professional edition and enterprise edition so you can uh, pause the video and you can uh, compare uh, these things so with the free version you get uh, two channels two uh, simultaneous sessions three assigned devices and 10 managed devices so that's all for today i have so if you are enjoying this video then hit the like button subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future video so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye